y'all welcome back to my channel on behalf of Britt if you're new here welcome I'm Brittany and today we are decorating my salon room my beauty room my work room I call it so many different things but ultimately this is where I take my clients if you're new here I'm a braider I braid from home about 75 percent of my clients come to me the other 25 I travel to but this is the room that I service my clients in as well as where I'll be filming YouTube content, braid tutorials, product reviews, things of that nature. So I've been using this room for about a month. We've been living in our new place for about two months. But as you can see, the walls are bare. Um, I haven't done any decor in this room other than just putting together this bookshelf system to store all of my equipment, supplies, tools, things of that nature. And then I put a chair in here for me to sit in and my clients to sit in just so it was functional for me to take clients. In my most recent vlog, I found two really beautiful photos and it motivated me to just go ahead and do some decor. This is one of them right here. Y'all will see more of it. And then it has another one, same style, just a different photo. The photo is catching my ring light. It's because it's metallic, but these two photos are going to be the focal point of this room. And then all of the decor is gonna be centered around it. So gold, florals, things of that nature. Um, it won't be like a full room transformation. It'll probably be like two or three parts to this video. Part one is just hanging decor, hanging my photos, putting together flower arrangements, sprinkling some things in here to start adding decor. And then over the course of a couple weeks as I'm looking at it and I see what else needs to be done, I'll definitely be doing a part two to this video. I'm gonna show y'all a quick haul of everything that I have so far. We're gonna put together some of the things and then I'm gonna give y'all the very first like full tour of how the room will look, how the room looks with just decor being put up on the wall finally. So let me show y'all what I have. So this is the room right now. I kind of have some things laid out. I've been to Target, Pop Shelf, TJ Maxx, Ross, all of those things, a lot, but a lot of the stuff that I'm using, I already had. I've been doing here a long time, so I had a lot of equipment and things that I can reuse and repurpose. So we have my ring light over here. This is the first wall when you walk in from the door. So here's the ring light. This is kind of where I keep it because I do hair in the center of the room, so it kind of shines there. I just have it turned towards the window right now because I was talking to y'all in this open space. But yeah, ring light down here. I have a salon chair. This is for my clients. The one I had in my apartment that we moved from was like an office chair. So it rolled around and stuff. This, this one I'm thinking will get the job done, but I haven't opened it since I brought it. So we'll open that today and put that together. It's like a black velvet seat. Those are the two photos I was talking about. These down here are just some photos I pulled out of our basement um, that I may or may not use. The TV will be right here. At first, I thought about mounting the TV or upsizing this TV to a bigger size and mounting it up. But right now that I have the photos, I'm thinking the photos are going to go up top. It's going to be decor, floating shelves, different things. Um, and if I decide later on I want to mount it, I always can. But for right now, we're going to put the photos up here along with some floating shelves. The floating shelves are back here. It's these awkwardly shaped um, shelves. I have three of them. And I'm going to do floral arrangements and a couple other like little statues. These mirrors right here are from my apartment that we moved from. We're going to spray paint those metallic gold today. Spray paint the faint, spray paint the frames of those to match these photos. I have curtains for this window. This set was a steel. You got white and silver drapes as well as a gold set. It's a two set situation for $10. Of course, I didn't need the white and silver, but I really love the way this gold look. It wasn't too much. It's kind of like a champagne and I thought it would be perfect for the room. I got some florals. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I just brought a bunch of different funky ones. Um, these came from Pop Shelf. They kind of go with the fuchsia and the purples in the other photo. I got these. This is called um, Bunny Tail. These are really cute. They more so go with her over here, but I'm gonna put all of them together, split them in half and make two different flower floral arrangements. I have these right here. There's some white in each photo. I have some roses to pull out the red. I have feathers. These came from Hobby Lobby for, they were $4.99, but they were 50% off. So they were $2.50 a piece, kind of crazy, but I think they'll really pop in the um, floor arrangements. I'm gonna do one in each vase. I also got these, one of each. They were $1.99, so those will go one in each vase. I'm doing two different flower arrangements. These come packaged together, but once you untie them, you can kind of break them apart and separate them in half. So that's what that's gonna be. And then I got some greenery to put in each one. Well, one green, 
um, branch for each one. Over here, I got a few things from Target. I had two clients to recently give me gift cards, so I didn't have to pay for anything from Target. Um, my client Chelsea gave me a gift card and my client Marissa. So thank y'all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for contributing to my beauty room. The first thing I got was this $5 little wall hanger thing. It says, love, I love my clients, I love what I do. They love it here. So I thought it'd be cute to hang up. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but it was $5 in the dollar spot. I got this candle just because it matches with the photo. Um, some red in it, some pink, and it says B, Braids by Brittany, Brittany, whatever. It can stand for. I got this frame. It was the most expensive thing from Target. It was $20. And I've always wanted to frame this photo. This was me at six years old, braiding my cousin Jordan's hair. Everyone has told me when posting it on social media, you got to frame that photo. Like, it's legendary. So, finally, in my first ever hair room, the first place I've ever lived in where I have a room to do my hair and take my client to do hair and take my clients i'm going to frame this photo y'all anybody who's ever told me i'm finally framing it in here they have an 8 by 10 photo but i like this empty glass space so i didn't want to do an 8 by 10 because i think it takes away from how much empty glass is in it so i'm gonna peel that off and do this five by seven it's gonna be a bunch of like empty glass along with the gold frame it's really cute these are the flower vases that I got. Excuse any black you see on my fingers, y'all. I did another DIY in another part of the house today. These are the flower vases that I'm going to use. They're very simple, but I think they'll work because my flower arrangements are going to be really extra over the top, a lot of color. I didn't want the vases to do too much, but these came from the dollar spot as well. They were $3 for two, so I thought that was a steal. They're kind of like awkwardly painted, but they're in that metallic gold. I thought it was perfect. I believe that's it from Target. I put the bag right there so I could remember what store the stuff came from. In this pop shelf bag, the flowers, most of the flowers came from there, but I also have like some command hooks and nails is what I'm going to use to actually hang the picture. Um, This whole pack of nails, you get a bunch of different sizes for only $1 in Pop Shelf, y'all. Something like this would have been $10 to $12 in Walmart or Target. $1 in Pop Shelf, and it'll hang my drapes, Um, the curtain rod for my drapes, the photos that I brought, as well as the mirrors. Once I mount the mirrors up on the wall, this right here. And then I got some little plastic hooks because right now, I'm hanging all of my aprons on thumbtacks. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's an orange thumbtack and I have two of my aprons hanging right here. So I wanna change them out and put those black hooks. And then right here, I forgot to show y'all this. There's some rose pillows. I got them off of Amazon. I will link them down below. They're actually pillow shims. I had to put pillows in them. The actual pillows came from Walmart. But I got this fuchsia color. Um, At first I was gonna pull out more red, but I think the fuchsia is perfect because there isn't any red in both photos, although there is fuchsia in both photos. This photo has like a fuchsia rose right in the center of her head. And then this one, she has fuchsia lipstick and then there's fuchsia within the flower. So I got two pillows and at first I was gonna do like a bench or a love seat right here, but I had to be realistic with myself. The room is too small to really have a whole lot of furniture. So I could easily line up a love seat perfectly up against this wall under the window, but then I don't know how far it's gonna come out. I don't wanna take up too much of the room when the square feet of this room isn't, it already isn't a whole lot. So I'm just gonna use this ottoman. This ottoman was in my bedroom in my apartment. I'm just gonna use this, throw the pillows on there and make like a little situation there. And then on this wall, y'all already know the OU Faithful Braid Bessie. This is where I organize and separate all of my braiding hair and any products I'm using for the day. I'll take them off the main shelf, put them on the Braid Bessie so they're close to me. The, bro the Braid Bessie spins around, it rotates with me sitting right here, my client in front of me. I can access the Braid Bestie really easily right here. So it stays in the back of the room. And yeah, this is the full room right now. We're about to work on a few projects. Me and my sister, we got to spray paint a couple things, hang a couple pictures, but I'll be back with the finished results.
It's been a few days since the project started. Ran across this beauty in Family Dollar for $8, y'all. I was in there getting laundry detergent and stumbled upon this. I told y'all this room is also going to be my working room for YouTube to film product reviews, girl talks, tutorials. So I was looking for something to represent YouTube and I found a camera. How cute. I put it up top on the highest shelf, front and center, and I love it. And this is another addition to the room that came today. When I first started this video, I had just ordered it. So I wasn't sure that you guys would see this in part one, but this is a flower vase. It's a woman's head and shoulders, and then you put the flowers up top. And for me, I had to have it. I got it off of Amazon. It just resembled both of my photos here, which are a woman's head and shoulders, and the flowers are her hair. So we're going to remove the red roses, those white things, I forget what you call them, um, but just remove a few plants from each vase because... To me, the flower arrangements have too much going on, so I'm gonna remove a couple things from each vase and put the flowers in here to make a separate arrangement for this vase. And I'm gonna sit it over here on this little display. This is where the clients will come get their last look before walking out, but I'm gonna have like a little tray here that holds my remotes and stuff. And I'm gonna have that flower vase sitting over here. That's where I'm thinking it's gonna go for right now. But the room is coming along, cute little pieces coming together. So I'm gonna write on these dry erase boards up here. One of them is gonna have my Wi-Fi username and password. The other one, I don't know if I'm gonna put a scripture this week or some type of affirmative message. But either way it goes, week by week, there'll be scripture or some type of positive message to uplift my clients on the other one. <laughs> So here's what we have so far in the room. I'm gonna walk y'all through each corner. At the entry door, I have my client's apron right now. This is what I put on my client's shoulders when I'm doing touch-ups and they may have buildup in their braids, as well as like cutting hair if I'm doing quick weaves or whatever. This guards their clothes. Right here, this first hook is for my two aprons, but they're in the wash right now. I hung this right here so I could remember to mention it to y'all. I could not find a home for the love sign anywhere in the room. I'm not sure yet what I wanna do with it. And it's kind of hard to hang because I have thumbtacks and stuff, but it's visible because it's made out of wire. So I don't quite know what I wanna do with it yet. I just hung it right here where the aprons go that protect my clothing, just to make mention of it, but it's not gonna stay right there. This wall originally was supposed to be like the last glance wall. I spray painted this mirror right here and it turned out really cute. I love the finish on this mirror. Remember it was silver at first. I was gonna hang it on this wall and do like a gold side table. But as I was decorating the room, y'all, I got really excited and maybe I'm just in a good mood, but I'm thinking about making this a snack bar. So I went on Amazon looking for carts, like a snack cart. Y'all have seen them everywhere with chips, fruit snacks, water bottles, things of that nature. That's what this wall is going to be. And I didn't think it was necessary since I have this full body mirror right here for my clients to look in to have another mirror hanging on the wall right next to it. So I may hang it somewhere else in the room, but for right now, I don't think I'm going to need it. The ring light lives here. I told y'all that in the beginning of the video. And then this corner is probably my favorite corner in the room. This is where my clients will come look at themselves. They can kind of stand out from the mirror and look at their hair before they leave. I have one of my rose pillows here as well as this little tray which has my remotes. I have one of the chalkboards I told y'all about. The affirmation that I chose for this week is actually a note to self. And maybe some of my clients can learn from it too, but it says, imagine how far you'll go once you stop doubting yourself. My handwriting isn't the best, but yeah, y'all, I suffer from self-doubt. I'm always coming up with creative ideas and then saying, no, it's not going to turn out right. So this is my motivation this week to do whatever my mind tells me to do and don't doubt it. And then I have the floral arrangement that I played with so many times. And for right now, that's just what it's going to be. And then I have this picture beside it. I don't know if this picture is going to stay here always because it's so close to the mirror. I think it's cute. Like if I'm taking photos of my client to have this photo next to it, it can act as like a backdrop or something. But ultimately, it's not level with the other photo. My sister who hung the photos for me because I don't know nothing about hanging, drilling nails, any of that. She said it'd be cute to kind of like off-center the photos, which I think it'd be cute too, but we hung this photo first without measuring how much room we would need on the other end of the wall. So by the time it was time to hang this one, it just seemed too, it just seemed like too much going on up there. So I'm stuck between 
rearranging everything and have everything going in a straight line or still off centering it and making this like a photo wall. I'll show y'all some inspiration of other rooms that I've seen on the internet where people do like a bunch of different photos, different framed artwork and things of that nature. I may go that route with this wall, but for right now, I do love the photos still, still very, very, very in love with the photos. I just don't know how to position them just yet. Let me cut the light all the way on. Here are my floating shelves. Not a whole lot going on, but I don't want them to be too busy either. I have the pretty vase I showed y'all that came in a couple of days after I started this project. I removed the roses from both floral arrangements and made it its own thing. So her hair is made out of roses, just like my two women in the photos. The vase will be linked down below. I have this other chalkboard, username and password I will put after this video goes up. Um, I have the camera that represents YouTube. I have this ombre candlestick. It goes from like an ivory to a gold. I just need a candle holder for it. And then I have that other candle that I got out of Target that has the letter B on it that stands for my name. I got these random mirrors. Y'all seen it at the beginning of the video. I wasn't expecting them to go on this wall at first. But now that I'm doing like that assorted framed work wall, I'm thinking I'm going in that direction. I kind of put them there. Also, y'all, if you can see in this back corner over here, my third floating shelf that was supposed to go up here did not work out. The wall across the bottom here is very hollow. You can see where my sister tried to drill holes over here where these two mirrors are. These mirrors are actually hiding a bunch of holes where we tried to hang that floating shelf over on this side um, just to kind of have the wall off centered again the third floating shelf was going to go over this way the right side of it was going to be here and it was going to hang over this way and the floating shelf would not hold it'll look like it would hold but then the moment i would put something on it it would drop after going through that a few different times and puncturing so many different holes in the walls we decided just to stick with two until i can fill in the holes i decide what i want to do with this wall i put those mirrors up there to hide all of the holes this one little hole doesn't really bother me but behind these mirrors it's like three or four holes behind each one i put this quoted photo here i pulled it from my decor in the basement a bunch of photos down there that we had in our apartment that we aren't yet using around the house this one just has different affirmations on it. Live fully, create happiness. Y'all see it, I'm not gonna read all of that. I have another one over here. Same thing, I don't remember where I got them from, but here's the photo of me as a child doing my cousin's hair. We have the curtains up. The curtains turned out so beautiful. Up here, I spray painted the frame of this photo that says Beauty Center, it came from at home. I brought it years ago. If I can find it online, I'll link it down below. I have the other candlestick to match the one up here. It was a two-pack from Hobby Lobby. The other floral arrangement. This is the shelf that y'all seen was already put together with my equipment and tools. Stay tuned for my next braider vlog, y'all. I'm going to the hair store and I'm going to restock. And I'm going to stock this whole shelf system from top to bottom with a bunch of different products. So if you want to see me like reorganize, rearrange, and fully stock this shelf, definitely stay tuned for an upcoming braider vlog. This little side table right here at the bottom, it has my table dryer. I do lock retwist as well as like quick weaves, um, sleek ponytails, things of that nature. Different styles like that, you have to sit under the dryer for the hair to mold. And then I have my kettle, which I boil water to dip my clients' ends when they get their ends bone straight or sometimes custom curls. I put my second floral pillow in this chair. This is a brand new chair. And it doesn't really have a full back on it. So I set this rose pillow here. Um, at first, I was going to put my new vase on this tray right here. But the, but the red roses were clashing with the pink roses in the pillow. So I decided to go with this flower arrangement since the florals were pink and fuchsia and they kind of went better with the pillow and then put that one up higher. Down here I have my TV. I'm on the market for like a TV stand, like a floor stand. Put like your plasma TV on it and it just looks more clean. And you can adjust it, you can turn it, you can choose how tall or low it goes. So I'm going to try out one of those maybe from Amazon. Then below it I just have random stuff. I have my dry erase markers. They're made for chalkboards only. This is for when I change out my quotes and stuff that are going to go on that board. I have them right here. Then once I get my whole little snack cart situated and all of my water bottles set up, I have these little flavored water packets that my clients can put in their water. 
I have crushed watermelon, Skittles, and Snapple fruit punch. And down in this bottom basket, I already just started putting random snacks down there just to see how to look for now until I get my little snack cart going. And then in the back of the room, you guys, I have my braid bestie. So this is the room so far. I put my mats back down. I think it's gonna take two or three parts to get the room exactly how I want it. All the furniture in the room is black. I kind of want something gold. I don't know if I'm gonna get like a gold bean bag or like poof chair. I'll put the one that's in my Amazon cart currently on here so y'all can see. Or if I'm gonna get like a gold side table or something. Or if my snack cart is gonna be gold. I don't know yet, but I want something else gold. I also kind of want a decorative rug. I don't know if that's gonna make any sense for a hair room where I'm cutting hair, hair is getting wet. Stuff is constantly getting all over the floor. I don't know if I wanna buy like a shaggy, furry, fuzzy, decorative rug just for hair and all kind of product to get down in it and me have to constantly wash it and clean it. I think the best bet would be for me to just leave these mats down here. When I ordered these mats a couple years ago, they were in full stock on Amazon. Now I can't find them. I wish I had like two more to go across the floor just a little bit. Maybe one more on this end and one more on this end. It would be perfect to cover the whole surface of the area where I mainly do hair. But for now, this is part one. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any advice for me, make sure you leave it down below. Any suggestions, anything else you think I should add, let me know down below. If you like how the room looks so far, you enjoyed the transformation of how things are coming along, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know how you like it. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next video.